Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trail RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited about today's video. Uh, as something new, we're going to start as always from the inside out, but today we're taking it from the top. We are going to start from the front and work our way back through this coach because today we are looking at a 2024 Supreme Air with the all new M2 112 plus chassis. So I can't wait to cover some of the differences between this coach and the 2023. So Jody, as usual, please go ahead. Let's start from the top and we are going to start above us in the front. We'll see that beautiful sky window. What a gorgeous, gorgeous sight. As you can see, there are some raindrops on this coach. Today we are at the beginning of November uh, going into the winter. And I'll tell you, one of the things that's super nice about this coach is it is nice and toasty. And this is one of those RVs where if you found yourself out camping in the cold because we are an all electric hydronically heated coach, you would be nice and toasty just like I am today. Uh, so first and foremost, I have the engine running right now just so that we can take a look at this new dash. This is part of the new M2106 Plus features. So as you can see, we have steering wheel controls. I can see how fast I'm going. I can also uh, check my tire pressure. I can look at my, my maintenance service. I've got all of the san standard controls that we are used to seeing on our higher end uh, Dutch Stars, Newmar, uh, London Airs, our Essex. So a lot of this nice integrated dash feature with an available steering wheel control offered to us by Freightliner this year. We also have the ability to control our radio and we can pick up and hang up our phone as well. So really nice feature there. Uh, of course, we still have our air horn. And then you'll note that we don't have something that you're used to seeing, which is a rear view camera here. Now this is the only uh, recourse I had for lip gloss. So once again, Ken Williamson, I'm gonna make that complaint us ladies driving these super C's definitely need a place to do our lip gloss, but you'll see it's been replaced by the Detroit Assurance software. And uh, this little head unit here has got a camera that's watching in front of us, which gives us our lane tracking this year, as well as our distance control, activated cruise control, and also some interesting things. So for instance, in this coach, if you are tagging towards a vehicle that's slamming on its brake, this coach will enact the brakes for you. Now, everyone wants to say, this coach will come to a stop. No, that's not a guarantee. But absolutely, 100%, if you're not paying attention, this coach is going to give you an alert, and it's also going to actuate your brakes, helping to assist you in stopping faster, preventing as much front-end damage. So this uh, Detroit Assurance system is uh, operated or subcontracted uh, through Wabco. So Wabco, of course, does a lot of uh, the Renegade product. Now you'll see Detroit Assurance systems also integrating that same safety system, which has been so successful. You'll also notice that our dash has been really nicely redesigned. I love this wood grain that you see down here along with the uh, textured aluminum on top. Much more contemporary, a lot less uh, kind of old fashioned looking. And also you'll see that we've integrated our display panel here. Now I'll tell you very candidly, one of the things I think I was a little bit disappointed to see was that our camera control, because of its just being so fantastic with the 360 camera being standard, with the ability to see all of your uh, front, right, left and rear views, uh, being able to see, for instance, the front view, the rear view, the side view, all of these things, I would have loved to have seen a second monitor. So if it's something where you might be interested in having a second monitor installed, please understand that's something that we plan on doing with most of the units that we sell this year. But one of the things that makes this such a nice uh, RV is the fact that this media center now has fully integrated Apple CarPlay. So starting in 2023, we integrated Apple CarPlay into all of our units. It's integrated into this unit as well. But one thing I wanted to make mention of that I think a lot of people are unaware of in this industry is the fact that this mapping system comes standard with a three year subscription to traffic and weather. So because of the fact that you have that, you don't need to use your Google app to do traffic anymore. You can actually actuate and turn that on when you take delivery of your coach. If you don't turn on your traffic and weather, you will not see it. But if you work with your sales associate to turn that on, you probably will. I don't know if there's a lot of associates out there that know how to turn that on, so I might encourage you to give me a call if something you're interested in. Um, 
As you can see here, we've got a lot of the same features we had last year on our dash, all kind of condensed and moved over. So ATC spin, this is going to be if your tires are uh, automatically stopping it from spinning out and you need to get out of a, a slippery situation, you can actually uh, you can control that with this button. Uh, the shutdown override is if your engine's in limp mode, you can actually override that so that you aren't in limp mode. Of course, we've got our generator start and stop, which is pretty easy, pretty simple to understand. Hazard lights are in a much easier to find uh, location. And then you've got your footwell lighting, and then you also have your lane, de lane, detection, lane departure warning. Now, once again, this is part of that insurance package. You can turn it off, but please note, when you turn it off, it will only be off for 15 minutes, and then it will turn back on. So the idea behind that is if you're going through a curvy area, or maybe you're going down somewhere where the lanes are pretty tight, you can turn that off, but it will turn back on. Um, we've got our shade down right now. I'll go ahead, or shade up right now. I'm going to go ahead and put that down for the video so you can see... Uh, what we have going on here and I've just turned off that engine because we don't really need to have that on to operate all of these controls um, and then the rest of these are all pretty standard for us of course we know that we're in a twin screw so we can lock our inner axle or, or our front or forward diff so this is going to give us an essence almost like a four by four type of traction with all eight of those wheels in the back now keep in mind the supreme air is going to be a 10 wheel coach and what that means is you've got your front and rear diffs or your front and rear drive axles back here can be engaged so that they lock you're usually going to be using that center front drive axle if you lock that rear diff and you're locking up all four of those wheels please make sure you're not on a dry surface that's really going to be for a wet surface a snowy surface a sandy surface uh, it's really rough on those tires to lock those all up because of course they don't have that ability to turn like you do in the passive tags that you find in our class a series um, the suspension dump is simply that it's just to dump your suspension so you can get your jeep on or your stacker on a little bit easier um, so pretty simple there and then our dash controls for our air conditioning are very much the same you know one through four um, you know feet you know defrost high low heat You've got some nice cup holders integrated here. Um, and then you'll also note that in this cab, we have a very similar layout. So for instance, your handrails though, are again, that nice textured aluminum. You've got power windows. You've got your overhead uh, mirror here showing you where the curb is. You've got your two chrome convex mirrors that are heated in power. Uh, but up here above these, you'll see that we've got a much deeper recess. So that's a little bit better place to keep your sunglasses, maybe your wallet. Uh, your cell phone and then we still have that fully integrated uh, pocket here made for that Cobra system We are pre-wired for uh, CB. So if you want to do that you can but again, this is just nice This is carpeted area up here by the way So a great place to keep some stuff and then like I said the big feature here is going to be of course a little bit larger digital dash But most importantly your steering wheel controls um, Everything else appears to be very very similar, but let's talk about some of the differences so TPMS systems, right? So historically, our tire pressure monitoring systems have not been integrated into the Super C's. Now, this Super C has been in manufactured production by Newmar since 2020. So we're our fourth year in. Um, I own a 2022. We had a very system-wide architectural change from our uh, telematic system. So the system that allows us to uh, turn our lights on and off, monitor our tank levels. Uh, we also, in 2023, uh, made it available to have a lithium ion battery pack. All of those things happened last year in 2023. Uh, there's a, about a $9,000 price increase this year because this DD13 now comes standard with the Detroit um, assurance package. So that safety system has upped that price a little bit, but very much a similar coach between 2023 and 2024 from a house perspective. From a chassis perspective, what you can't see, what you don't know about, is this multiplex system that they have integrated into the wiring uh, of this coach. So the actual chassis itself has gone through a uh, architectural change in which there's really a plug and play system uh, where you can move where plugs are. You can move where you have, you know, different things that are going into the coach, uh, jumping into that system. And it's a really cool system that's given um, all of the manufacturers, not just of uh, RVs, but, you know, whether you're, you know, running a fire truck, you know, this is this is a big, heavy duty vehicle. This has got a 4,000 
uh, T Allison transmission. If you look at the specs and what this 4000T has under its belt and what it can do, uh, this is a big heavy duty truck. So uh, what Freightliner did in 2024 is they actually did a complete um, overhaul of their electrical system to make it more uh, usable, more user friendly for a whole lot of people in industry, including the RV industry. And you won't know that. You won't see that. This will operate and seem like a very similar unit to the 2023 to the 2024. Um, but from a design standpoint, going forward, Newmar will be able to have a much better interface with the Freightliner chassis in deciding where they want to have things jump in and out of those systems. Uh, oh, we have a question. So, Daniel would like to know Hi, Daniel. So the question that Daniel's asking is whether or not you could have a Cummins engine as opposed to the DD13. And the answer, Daniel, is no, unfortunately or fortunately. I mean, the Detroit 13, the Cummins ISX 11.9, uh, so this is a 12.8 liter uh, displacement on the uh, DD13 as opposed to the ISX 12, which is an 11.9 liter displacement. Um, they both have very similar performance capabilities, but purposefully, I think they have decided to stick with one engine election for this coach. Um, and keep in mind, one of the nice things about this engine is last year we had a 505 horsepower. This year we have 25 or 525. So the ISX uh, 12 went from you know 500 to 525. The DD 13 followed in suit. It went from 505 to uh, 525 so both the same horsepower outputs and then also keep in mind this coach also has 1850 foot pounds of torque with that 4000 t transmission this is giving you a true 30,000 pound towing capacity with 14,200 pounds of load capacity so you could put 14,200 pounds of gear in this coach and still have a 30 a 30,000 pound towing capacity and a very capable engine uh, but I think that very simply put, because of the way that this engine is shaped, because of where you're putting it in the coach, uh, because of the length of it, you're going to be relegated to that DD13. And you'll find that even in the Renegade product, they've got the DD13 and 16 uh, in those front engine products as well, where you see that ISX is going to be typically more of something that's going to be under the floor in the rear of an RV, not in the front. Uh, but you still, like I said, have that great towing capacity, that huge amount of uh, foot-pounds of torque, uh, and a very, very capable coach that's breathing from the front. So for those of you that are out there with stackers, with large horse trailers, with anything big, big boats, for instance, if you've got a boat that's got, you know, a lot of girth to it and you're taking it, for instance, from Florida up to upstate New York, like a lot of our clients we have that are, uh, you know, are single coast, but, um, you know, that are living in two different places during the nicer parts of the year and then the cooler parts of the year, of course. Um, we, so we've got a lot of people who buy Supreme Airs for that reason, for that big, heavy hauling uh, situation. Another really nice thing about this coach, too, is, Jody, if you'll just step back, a lot of people really like the fact that this Supreme Air has a flat entrance into the cab, so the step down isn't until you get to your chairs. Now, these chairs do swivel and turn. They have armrests on both sides. Uh, unlike a Class A, though, they do not have a recliner, so you can turn them around. One thing that Numar did this year is they actually did a recess here on the big black rainbow, so you can see there's a little bit of a divot, so we've got three more inches of tilt. So for those of you who are taller, this coach is very much con uh, constructed and designed for you. This year we have given you a little bit of reprieve here where we have a much better tilt ability. Um, I had somebody who had looked at that 6.7 liter Thor um, are the Tiffin uh, front engine, you know, Super C that they came out with. And that coach apparently is really at a 90 degree angle when you're sitting in those chairs. So these definitely have a little more forgiveness there. But this flat center going into the coach is really nice. A lot of people have, you know, pets, you know, cats, dogs that like to sit up front with them. So that's kind of cool. Uh, now you'll see up here, we are looking at the Bermuda glazed maple. This is a high gloss finish. Uh, you'll notice we've got our JBL sound speaker in here. And then we have a lot of cubby space here. So when I go camping in my uh, Super C, I have the same layout here because of the fact that our cab is floating. So in other words, the house is not welded to the cab of this coach. Uh, so because of its floating, we've got this big black rainbow kind of holding that seam together, but we will not have a bunk over cab. I get that question a lot. If you want a bunk over cab, a classic's probably gonna be an equivalent for you on this coach. Um, or you can get into, you know, a Verona LE, which of course would be uh, more like a superstar. 
Uh, but anyway, so all of these cubbies up front are so handy because you can assign cubbies to the people that you're traveling with. And of course, being that this is a bunk model, uh, what's so nice about this is each of the kids could have their own place where they keep their stuff. So, you know, if you find somebody's, you know, cell phone or maybe their AirPods, I just found my son's AirPods this weekend, uh, they would go back in their cubby. That way they would know where to find them and they're not just kind of floating around your coach. Um, I do want to quickly address our new uh, labeling we have here with the JBL Dare to Listen. Uh, please understand that when you have a JBL system in this coach, it has actually been constructed to give you the best listening capacity. They literally get in these coaches. We, we have a, a very amazing team that helps to actually tailor the listening experience so that when you turn this coach on, it's already been basically set to give you the best listening experience while you're in this cab. And that's a lot to say because not everybody has a great listening experience. And then I also just want to make sure that I bring out Darian Todd has been with us and she has been with us uh, since the beginning of our Super C's. Uh, you know, I remember getting her as a rep in 2022. Uh, there's just a lot to be said about somebody who's got that Trek record and experience. But the fact that you can reach out to Darian Todd uh, you know, my email or at her after hours emergency line uh, really speaks highly of Newmar. And I also want to mention, so I just made my third trip to Newmar uh, this year and really no kidding, 54 bays of service. They invite you in to actually learn about your coach. I recommend all of my clients that for your first one year uh, oil change, slide service, air conditioner service, go to Newmar, have them tell you, you know, whether or not you can change out the uh, filters in your cabin, you know, what, what things you can do to mitigate costs for service, or if you simply just need to know when, what, and where you need to have done. It's a great place to go. They're so friendly, and the factory tour is second to none. Uh, Chris gave us a great tour this year. We were able to go in and take pictures of all of the aluminum construction in this coach. Um, everything, you know, from the top down the walls to the underskirts. If you want photos of why a Numar is so much better than anything else in the market, and I mean that emphatically, I would be happy to share those with you. Um, I've got a client coming out from Vegas this coming weekend. I just sold a gentleman, a coach, a superstar. He came up from Texas. I'm delivering another one to California. And these are in the last two weeks. So if you want to fly out and see me, I promise you, I can give you that different experience that you're looking for to understand why or what you might choose. Um, all of these clients are coming out. One came out to see a superstar and bought a Dutch star. The other came out to see a superstar, bought a superstar. The other came out to see a Mountaineers buying a London Air. So, you know, it's really important to understand the best way to spend money in this industry is to get the right coach for you that has the right level of equipment from somebody who can really help you to understand all of your options with thorough and accurate information. Um, so I hope that you'll get that today. Um, for those of you that are interested more into the house aspect, of course, you know, I'm here for you. I know that your wife wants to see the interior. I know the husband wants to see the color of the cabinets. I know all of those things are, you know, uh, appropriate for different markets. But like I said, this chassis is also really important. And that's one thing that I have a very fundamental experience in just from all of my experience in selling Mercedes and Audis, you know, for the first 20 years of my career, really understanding engine componentry, understanding braking system, all wheel drive systems, um, ABS systems, all of those things. Um, you can get both sides of that here at TransWest. So Jody, as usual, let's go ahead and take the rest of this uh, from the top down or from the back back forward, I guess, and start from uh, from the back of the coach. So go ahead and take her on back. Um, as you'll walk through this, you'll notice this is a 45 foot uh, bunk model coach. I do have a 2023 in stock as well that does have the lithium ion battery pack. That is an optional feature on this coach and it's full uh, cost. If you ordered it on a 2024 this year, you could get that third lithium ion battery. It's a $33,000 option. I would really make sure you need it before you have it. This coach does not have lithionics. It actually has the standard eight uh, AGM batteries. They are daisy chained through. Um, so you've got 800 amp hours of battery, or I should say lead acid batteries. Uh, they're six volt daisy chained. Um, that's what I have on my coach. It's more than enough unless you are driving. Uh, for instance, I've got a client right now that spends a lot of time going back and forth between here and Florida. They really want to make sure that they have the ability to run their uh, coach 
air conditioning without having their generator on going down the road, if that's important to you, that would be a reason. If you're a big boondocker or for instance, if you're track side and you don't have the capacity of running that 12.5 kilowatt generator, you might need to have that Lithionics package, but let's talk about it before you spend the money because I think you can get a lot of what you need out of this coach and you know, saving $33,000 and then having that $9,000 price increase, you're really saving money on this 2024 bunk model. Um, for those of you though that want a 2023 with Lithionics, I have one in stock. It still has all of those safety features. They're just not through the Detroit Assurance System. Okay, so in this rear bath, I love this. You've got tons of shelf space. You've got, of course, your option, your standard in this coach, teak bench, um, your adjustable shower head on a slide. Uh, this does have the assist handle in it as well. You'll also have your Aquamizer shower saving system. This coach has 150 gallons of fresh water, 60 gallons of gray water, and 40 gallons of uh, black water. Uh, but when you have that Aquamizer system, what's so nice about that is when you're heating your tanks from underneath and behind the scenes before you're turning your shower on and filling your gray water tank, even though you don't have a 75 gallon gray water tank, that 60 gallons is actually going to go just as far because you're not using it while you're waiting to warm your water up. So in other words, this coach is warming your water up through your Oasis dual loop Chinook system first after it's nice and warm. Then you go ahead and I'll, I'm going to pop in here real quick, Jody, uh, and you switch this over from recycle, which is right here, to flow. So it's on the recycle. It won't be coming out of the shower heads. You switch it over to flow, and now you've got hot water coming out, and you know it's hot because this has changed color. So super cool system here. Another thing I would really like to have that I don't is going to be the shampoo, conditioner, and body wash uh, dis uh, holders here. Of course, we know how it goes, you know, going down the road. Of course, you have, you know, things kind of flying hither and thither in your RV because maybe you slam on the brakes or someone jumps in front of you. So nice to have that all in one place. Another thing I really like about this coach is I love these towel racks on the exterior of this door. Just makes it really nice and convenient. And then you'll note I have my day and night shades uh, here. These are power shades and they're right here in front of my egress door. Uh, my egress door is super handy. In this coach especially, the toilet's not in front of the door, so it's a very easy place to load or unload. And this is a great place to bring in not only your linens and your towels, any supplies you might have, but also a great place to drop out your laundry at the end of your trip. Um, so as you can see here, I've got a ton of cabinet space in this coach. Very, very nicely uh, laid out. These are all carpet lined, so they're not going to have those rattles. And then, of course, when we get into the Supreme Air, we have some great features like this beautiful linear drain, this gigantic medicine cabinet. And you'll see that there's chains here, first of all, such a thoughtful thing so that we don't bump into the cabinetry here. But also you'll see these little lighting uh, components. That is because we have an integrated uh, mirror here with a vanity light. So we not only have the vanity lights from up above, let me just turn these mirror lights on. Uh, we have these mirror lights here. So for those of you who are you know, used to camping, one of the things that happens when you're camping is you really don't have great visibility in any of your bathrooms, but this gives you that great light coming towards your face. So if you're out for two or three weeks and you need to do your eyebrows or get a little closer and make sure that you know, you're looking at you know, a 10, you can do that here in this mirror. Super, super nice. Um, another great aspect of this coach, and I talk about this all the time, is I uh, really like lots of drawers that are different sizes. So it's so nice to have a separation of space where you have all of these drawers that are different shapes and sizes. So you can keep smaller items like your bathing suits, your bras, things like that. So you'll see you've got all four of these cute little drawers. Now, of course, these stop because so so far we've done eight right look at this we literally have a bathroom that has 12 drawers in it and when you get into this level of coach uh, the supreme air of course is equivalent to that of the mountain air you get all of that dovetail feature so really nice soft clothes beautiful drawers tons of room for shorts bathing suits socks and then another additional wardrobe space so for those of you we have our two wardrobes in the front, right? But we also have all this space here in the back. And you can see this huge cubby down below has a great amount of room if you wanted to keep something that you weren't keeping in the safe kind of out of mind, out of sight. 
You can still do that if you want to just drop in some cowboy boots. Of course, you could do that too. Uh, but really, really nice setup here with all this extra space. And again, this is all going to be operated by this little panel you hear. So this little panel here is going to be operating your lighting, your shades, your fans. So you can go in here and you can go ahead and push this and pull your night and day shade up if you want to have that extra light coming in here in the morning, um, all with just a touch of a button. So really cool layout here. Uh, of course, we have our robe hook, which is always important to me. Um, I really like, I do, I wear a robe all the time when I'm out camping. Um, if you're walking around a campsite and your windows aren't closed, then you know it's nice to have a robe on. Uh, here we have, of course, our Splendid stackable washer and dryer. Now, these work great. I hear a lot of people that are concerned about whether or not they dry quickly. Mine dries fantastic. And then you'll see down below here, you can see one of these vents. This is from your hydronic heat. So keep in mind, again, this is an all electric coach using a tankless hot water system with a boiler that's getting uh, the antifreeze in that boiler up to temperature. And there's two different loops of that antifreeze running under this coach, giving you not only thermostatically controlled interior space, but also under base state space. So all of your basement is going to be thermostatically controlled. You can set it to 42 degrees. Another thing you can do is you can turn your hydronic system on. You can preheat that water in the rear of your coach on a super cold day and having a big 150 gallon tank of super hot water, of course, is also gonna give you more additional heat above and beyond your three 15,000 BTU uh, heat pumps. So you've got three 15,000 BTU air conditioners with heat pumps, you have your hydronic heat coming out of all of these little vents that you see under floor. You also have a third form of heat in this coach, and that is in-floor electric heat. Now that is not available on the Superstar. It's only available on the Supreme Air because we have what we call the more floor here. Um, and speaking of the floor, there's a few things I wanted to talk about. I love the way they do the courtesy lights here. When you get into the Supreme Air, it's a little more classy. As you can see just underneath the, the bed is glowing as opposed to having the little puck lights on the wall. But I also love this pattern on this uh, coach floor. So one of the things that's so nice about this Lindley decor is this flooring. If you've ever dropped anything on a floor while you're camping and you've got a, a little bit of dust or dirt on it, it makes these little brown spots all over the place. The best thing about this Lindley floor is not only does it have a really beautiful aesthetic to it, it's got a great eyeball to it, it's a really nice and uh, subtle integration into your coach, it's also going to be something that's super easy to maintain. Uh, so as you can see here, with this more floor, we are able to have no carpet in this bedroom and you still have all of these big drawers as well. Of course, I love the fact that they do an extension on these top drawers so they go out past the wardrobe. Then you've got the same size down below, easy access, a ton of room here. Um, so you have these two wardrobes. You also have your really nice uh, little credenza here. And keep in mind, here on this nightstand, or not nightstand, but here on this dresser, you could put all of the things that you want to have with a plug because you've got an overhead 110 outlet right here. And then you'll see over here, I also have deployed my carefree awning package. So. We have our really nice, uh, you know, we've got both of our big awnings outside, but standard on the Supreme Air, you're going to have these window awnings that cover the bedroom window and then the front galley on either side. So this is a great way to keep the heat again down or out of your coach or also just to give you a little extra privacy. So I really like this. Again, these are going to be automatic shades. So you've got automatic day and night shades. And then you'll notice we started this in the King Air in about 2021 where we did a cutout here above to give you access into this rear compartment. But so now we have both of our USBs and our 110 outlets available to run cords out of so you can leave them plugged in full time, pull those out and then put them on top of your nightstands when you've got your phones plugged in. Or if you happen to have a CPAP machine, uh, talk to your cardiologist. I've heard differing of reports, but our cardiologist that bought a King Air for me said you should have them below heart level. And as you see, you can have them plugged in next to the coach over here on the side, or you could use that for storage space. I found, uh, I found a lot of hiking boots there. And then you'll see here, there's a pump. That is because this, this coach does also have the optional uh, inflatable mattress. Of course, this is dual sided. So his and hers, you can set whatever you like your, um, your um, inflation to be. Is that <laughs> Your firmness. Ah, Jody's coming through for me, the firmness. 
Uh, now also you'll have, again, 110 outlets up here above, carpeted line space again, little grommets here so you could drop cords through if you wanted to run maybe your iPad or a laptop while you're sitting in bed watching your 43 inch smart TV, maybe, you know, doing some, some work, maybe working on the road. Um, but what I wanted to mention about this coach is if you like this coach, I have a, I want to say I've got six 2023s on ground here in the Supreme Air. And this is my first of the 2024s. You guys, this coach is changing next year. This coach, of course, is modeled off of the Mountain Air. And I love the decor here. I love the way the backlights come up here on the accents. I love everything about this coach. Um, so if you like this coach in its current execution, please understand this is going to be your last year that you can get this. I'm going to go here into my bedroom. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my reading lights my dresser lights, my ceiling lights, and my accent lights. So I didn't have those on before, but you can really get, so it's super dreary today. It's uh, overcast, cold, but these like little classy accent lights that we have here, I don't know if you can get close enough to show those. It's just such a nice way to get a glow about this coach. But again, if you like this decor, keep in mind, you know, every few years we'll do a refresh. And I can't say it on authority, but I'm guessing that in 2025, we'll see that Mountain Air, and again, this is a premier product, probably refresh. So make sure you catch one while you can. Um, now, speaking of catch one while you can, I am a huge fan of bunks. For those of you who don't know, I've got a 2022 Superstar with the bunks. What I love about this coach is they finally got it set up correctly. So you've got power window shades, day and night, you've got all of your controls, you've got your 110 outlets, you've got your USB ports. They put everything down here towards the end of the coach and then you recessed your television. So if you wanna sit in here and watch TV, you can. You put your head down towards the front of the coach, but when it's bedtime and you're actually going to go to sleep, it's not where your feet are going to kick. It's up towards the front and of course your head's down on a pillow. I really love this change they did in the 2023. Um, we still have our drawer storage down here underneath. I'll tell you, uh, Terry and Joe came in. They bought a Superstar from me. We special ordered it, paint and everything custom from the factory. And they said, yeah, we love these little drawers down here. And I said, there's no drawers down here. I have one of these. And they're like, Katie, there's drawers. There's drawers down here, you guys. Those are great drawers. Oh, my gosh. Uh, but, you know, you can always learn something, right? Central vac is going to be standard. Heated floors are going to be standard. A lot of things when you get up into this level of coach are going to be standard. And then as you can see, all of these KIB panels are throughout, or silver leaf panels are throughout the coach, which is super nice. I also like the flush door handle here. So if you are going down the road, you don't bonk your hip, but here is your half bath. So this is a bath and a half bunk model coach. So this coach sleeps very comfortably for people. Uh, and the mid coach has a door that closes. So you actually have, in essence, at your own room back here but if you're a young person getting up and getting dressed in the morning or if you're just sleeping in right like my daughter likes to do um, you close these doors and you've got your own privacy so you've got your own room for all intents and purposes and this is a really heavy uh, thick piece of maple um, so this is a great pocket door this is going to give you that sound deadening that you're hoping for so your kids can sleep in while you're up and getting ready for the morning, getting your coffee. Uh, for teenagers especially, they really like to have their own space to do things and that gives them their own cubby. Uh, so as you can see, all of our breaker systems are really clearly labeled. They're right next to it. You're not going over here trying to read and you know figure out which one's which. It's just all on a nice printed piece of tape next to each side. Um, Numar does a fantastic job in the wiring of this coach. I think that every year I go there, they just get better. They're always striving to change things. They listen to the population. They make uh, modifications like putting their power cord in here was something that I'd heard over and over again last year. And they did, they moved the outlet into this cabinet, which is such a great thing. And then you have all of your space in here for like hairspray, all of your lotions and such. So this is a great place to get ready in the morning. Um, but they always listen. Um, I love this sink being uh, seamless, of course. That's such a nice feature. They changed this. So on my coach, I could never figure out where the fill or, you know, dump was. 
So these buttons glow at night, which is so nice. Um, great drawer storage. Again, little chains everywhere. Hy hydronic heating vents really seamlessly integrated into the coach so that you can have heat in this room. And keep in mind with that three zone heated uh, floor system, you're gonna have a nice warm floor under your toes uh, when you wake up in the morning. So you don't have to worry about being freezing cold even on a day like today. It's really nice and toasty in here. Uh, Jody's super comfortable except for the fact that his arm is really sore because my videos are so long. <laughs> Um, and so I hope you all, I hope you all recognize I did do that uh, front uh, for you. So I know some of you guys are like, gosh, this lady talks forever, but listen, your wife will watch this video. She will see all the things that are important to her. For instance, Fido's not going to fall down the steps because your step cover is deployed. Another nice feature I want to bring up about this, this cabinet here. So we used to have a big thing here where you had to kind of try to read like little stuff. All of that's been moved to this new 10 inch monitor. So you can see your black, gray, and freshwater uh, content. This is of course winterization because we got our coach winterized. Uh, but here you've got all of your power. You can see what your generator's doing. Uh, you can also start and stop your generator from here, the front of the coach from outside. You could do this from your phone. You've got all of your water capacities. You can do your climate control. Uh, you can see all of your zones or you could do you know, if you want to just do the bedroom, for instance, you can set whatever you like to have, you know, each location uh, set to different things, which is awesome. Also, you've got your floor heat. So we've got our floor heat in the front and the mid turned up to 10 and in the rear. That's keeping this coach nice and toasty today. Your block heater. This is a great um, an important thing to note. People are like, what do you need a block heater for? Well, if you start your coach below temperature and it throws a fault code that you have to go turn off, they're gonna charge you $167 diagnostic fee because your coach was started cold or you could just use your block heater. Uh, your lights, as you can see here this year, we do have a little more definition as to what you're controlling. Um, so that's really, really nice. And then also you have your shades, so you can operate all of your shades here. You can also operate your TV lift. So I'll put the TV lift up. I know we saw that with it down earlier. And I am gonna do our, our shades. So let's go ahead and just do the kitchen. We'll go ahead and do our day shades. So you can kind of see that going down. So I just did the front day shade there just so you can see how nice and seamless this is. So you can operate all of these shades at once or you can do one at a time. You don't have to have everything done. But you'll notice that day shade, when I lift that up, oops, I accidentally hit the forward night. That's okay, I'll show you that one too. I do have, again, one of those awnings deployed and you can see how blustery it is outside. That's the nice thing about these shades is that these are the shades that you can have on a warm, windy day in the desert. You might want to have the sun off of your coach or out of your uh, living room or bedroom. You can keep these deployed in a higher wind situation than you could your overall awnings out front. Um, so now that we're standing here in the middle, um, we have not only our 10 inch display here, we've got our KIB switches, but one of the other things I wanted to talk about is that you have Here's your awning controls, your battery disconnect, all of your security lights, your patio lights, your slide operations here. Um, but one of the things I think that's so interesting about this is that this coach has, again, the uh, hydraulic slides on both the passenger and the driver's side. So you can see here, um, this hydraulic slide allows us to have more floor. In my Superstar bunk model, I have carpet right here. Uh, so this is a really nice feature. The other thing that's interesting about this, and we were talking about this earlier, is Avin is a big guy. He's 6'4", might be 6'5". Um, Lord, he's young, so he's still growing. But this is a much easier table for somebody who has got a lot of height on them to get in and out of. Uh, so we have an optional booth dinette for this coach, or you can have your uh, table and chairs. But what's so nice about this table and chairs is without the carpet, these chairs are so much easier to, to maneuver. And then of course we saw those two extra chairs that we had in the back. You can really get a very nice table for four out of this coach. So as you can see, there's no differentiation between the floor here with the carpet and the tile. Super, super major thing. Um, and I think that, you know, uh, you know, one of the nice things about this is all of your access to your television, all of your wiring, you can see it all the way out to the edge back here. So this is going to be easy 
for somebody to work on if you do have a problem with the television, you know, of course you're supposed to drive with this down. So for those of you who want a TV in the front, uh, you are looking at nature. Your television is the world out in front of you. It will not be the sports game. Um, but if you do decide to drive with your TV deployed and you break your, uh, <laughs> your motor, <laughs> it's easy to work on. I'm gonna go ahead and put that back down. So we're just gonna go here into systems. Now, I know there's a lot of you thinking to yourself, oh man, is there a way that you could get this whole coach set up to watch a movie by just the push of one button? Yes, you buy an Essex and it has theater mode. And I'll tell you what, that is like the best thing ever. Theater mode drops all the blinds, turns on the backlighting, raises the TV. But if you don't wanna spend a cool million, go ahead and get us a premiere. Pretty easy to control here. Again, you can do that on your phone. Now, this is a 74 inch uh, jackknife sofa. Comes opposed to the uh, table here on the other side. Again, plenty of room here, right? Uh, if you have other people that are staying with you, this is not the coach for you because this coach does not have a fold out queen size bed. Uh, we do have that in our 4530, which has been a very popular bath and a half floor plan. This coach is designed, of course, more for people who have, oh, I knew it was, Ugh. more for people who have uh, pets or uh, littles. So you could still have, um, I could sleep here. I could probably sleep here with Jason. He and I are pretty, no, I think, I think this is a one adult couch. So uh, on that note though, those bunks are 72 by 30 and I have people in my bunks that are adults all the time. So maybe you put a kid up here and put mom and dad back there. I don't know, however you wanna do it. Or you have this huge expanse that you could actually use for a, uh, this huge expanse that you could actually use for a, uh, hide a bed, like an inflatable one. One thing I really like though is this gigantic drawer underneath this couch. This is a great couch. So I've got a friend right now who's buying a superstar from us, no, a Dutch star. And uh, I told her, I said, find it with something that has a jackknife with a big drawer because that is such a great couch. Um, I love this uh, interior. The handle on this furniture is so soft by far our softest uh, material. And then lots of room here for all of your board games. We also got our wall lights. I should turn those on, those are cute. Let's turn our wall lights on, so nice little glow. Everything, of course, is all about, you know, the experience, the atmosphere that you can create in this coach. Uh, this is the curtain that goes in the track right here underneath. So there's a little track up here and then there's little snaps. If you want my opinion, uh, the M2 112 plus chassis will have through Freightliner um, a shade system that you can buy that actually is like that of a car shade where it rolls into the window. It's mylar backed. It's kind of uh, foamy, if you will, it unrolls. They also have things that suction cup to either one of the driver's doors. Those are much better at reflecting heat and keeping the light out. I would do that. I would keep this at home. We don't ever use ours. Uh, we did it first, Jason would do both, but we've really found that just that Mylar system seems to be more than enough coverage to keep the light out. Um, now let's talk about the galley here. So this kitchen has huge space. And the reason that is, is because we are on that 45 foot chassis. This coach is 44 feet, 11 inches. Even these extenders are dovetailed, super nice construction. Um, if you are, Mark Love, I watched his video this morning. He said, if you're five, six, and I was like, I'm only five, three, and I have a hard time getting back there. But yeah, so if you're, if you're one of those who's vertically challenged, those are great for access into the backs of your cabinets. Uh, this Whirlpool microwave and convection oven is also an air fryer. So if you would like to uh, use, have an air fryer in your coach, you don't need to have one. Um, this, is, uh, this is already there and installed here. Um, I talk about this a lot. I love the fact that this is a no propane coach. You can put a paper towel on top of this burner and boil water in about a third of the time is what you could do on a propane coach. But most importantly, I take this out all the time. I take it outside. I better do that this way. Uh, I take it outside. It's got a little plug back there. And we make French toast, eggs, 
eggs, I like at 360. You could set these are by either one through five or you can set it by temperature. You can get everything cooked exactly the way you like it. And then the thing that's nice is after you take that outside, you can either have your cutting board or your flat top here installed. And so that can be outside where you're using it and you can still have all of this counter space. So a lot of counter space here. Uh, for anyone who's looking for coach measurements, um, the only measurement I'm gonna do today, Jody, don't worry, is this measurement at 76 inches of length and then the depth of this most narrow point is almost 29 inches. So that's bigger than what you'll find at home. And of course, that's what gives you the ability to keep your coffee maker and your toaster here. So we have our vents here for a microwave, but we have our outlets here. We've got four 110 outlets underneath. And then I love this dual basin, stainless steel undermount sink. It's got a huge basin over here on the left, a residential faucet with both spray and pour. And it's got a smaller vegetable sink on the right. Great for doing dishes. Now I know a lot of you are looking at this coach going, why would we need to do dishes? Well, I'll tell you, we wash most of our dishes while we're camping. We don't use the dishwasher a lot to wash the dishes, but we absolutely use it oftentimes. Uh-oh, it's locked. Why is it locked? No, I want you to unlock. Oh, shoot. Well, it's going to be locked. Um, we absolutely use this all the time to dry our dishes. So that's a great location to dry your dishes. And then again, all of these full extension dovetail drawers are so nice. So much room in here. Look at how deep that one is. You can keep all of your big spices down there, your lorries, all of the things that you want to keep um, there in that drawer. You've also got a really big silverware drawer and it's got these nice dividers already integrated into it. Lots of controls for your TVs. Uh, the TV in the bedroom and outside are both 43 inch televisions. And then we've got a 50 inch 4K smart TV up front. And then take a look at this again, just that great utility where you've got tons of room to take things in and out. Trash can, you've got some stuff for your cleaning supplies behind. You can put your slides here on either side while you're stationary so that you don't have to have them. If you want to remove your sink covers, you can put those underneath. And then I love this. If you have been out camping, you know how hard it is. You want to keep your sponge in your coat. You want to keep your scrubby. I use a baby bottle scrubber to clean dishes because I don't like having a gross sponge on my hands. But you could easily keep that and a scrubby and a sponge all here underneath. Very, very handy to use. Uh, this is another place. There's a more slide cupboards here, so you can put your uh, your stove covers right there on that side, and then some baking pans. But where do you put your pots and pans? Oh my gosh! Yes, finally, Numar has done it. These are adjustable. So if you have like a quart pot that you want, you could actually move this over and make this a little bit thicker. Put a baking pan here. Put your frying pan on that side. All of your pots and pans can go sideways underneath here. And then these really nice push to release pantry uh, shelves pop all the way out again, giving you all the, of that utility that you need to keep all of your goods, you know, Tabasco sauce, baking goods, all those things next to your 19.7 cubic foot Whirlpool refrigerator with the drop down shelf with a really big freezer. Um, I will tell you, we bring a lot of stuff when we go camping. We use all of this, uh, but we are always able to get everything to fit. Um, I did take out, I took out this one, I think, and just drop that down. I don't think I use this one. This is a condiment one. I don't use that one. You should use it though. I'm sure it's really good. If you have something that's really great that goes in there, you call me and tell me what that is and I'll start seeing if I like it. A uh, water dispenser on the refrigerator door. You've got all of your HDMI plugs right here. So if you want to put in your PlayStation or your Wii, you can. You've got this great Bose soundbar. I always have this thing to my phone. We're listening to playlists. The kids and I are always arguing over who gets to have theirs first. Um, but like I said, this is a really fantastic coach. I'm going to go pull these doors shut. Um, look at the wood grain on this. I mean, so first of all, when you see this, not only is this coach impressive, but as you spend more time in a Numar, you really start to appreciate how much better built uh, this coach is from a, an aesthetic perspective. But what I can tell you is the construction under the walls, under the floor, the things that are allowing you to have a better insulated coach, keeping that heat out in the winter, keeping that cold 
earthquake, keeping that heat in in the winter, keeping that cold out in the summer. All of those things are integrated into this coach through the way that they construct the floor, the way that they use bat insulation in the walls. I mean, it's such an impressive thing. And then you have to remember, like for instance, this coach has a bunch of different furniture on it. None of this furniture is actually sitting on tile. It's all sitting on that Luan wood. So you don't have those creaks and rattles going down the road. This is a very quiet coach, um, not just from the front cabin, but also from the house. So super, super impressive. And this coach, of course, is the only coach that you'll find in the marketplace that is air ride. So the air ride cab does not mean that your cab, am I doing in? Oh, I'm doing out. <laughs> doing out won't help Jody. This is already out. No, so the air ride cab, what does that do for you? So you're still in your, your classic spring leaf suspension that you have on any of these big Supreme Airs or Superstars. So you're still on that M2 106 or 112 spring leaf suspension, but the cab itself has its own pump, keeping it level even when there's a bunch of bouncing going on around you. And that is the difference between an air ride cab um, and a traditional coach that is attached or welded from the front to the rear. So one of the things I think is so impressive with this coach, because of the fact that there's no booth dinette, for anybody who is looking for usable walking space, not only is it easier access in and out of your, your kitchen uh, table, it's also easier access to get to the restroom when you're walking from front to back of this coach. So tons of walking space. And then of course, this is our narrowest point in the coach. And even here uh, with this full wall slide completely retracted, all I have to do is take off this really nicely built, very sturdy ladder. And I have the easiest access in this bathroom. So tons of room in this RV. I am gonna bring this in so that we can take a look at it on the end. Uh, so this is not a hydraulic slide back here, of course, that's why there is some carpet in this coach. For those of you who are like, I thought she said no carpet. Okay, you guys, there's a little bit, but it's not like, it's not here, like where the kids are getting in and out of bed. This, you can just sweep everything right here into this kick plate. It's just such a nice thing. And then you do have the tubes here. So if you need to vacuum your children, you can vacuum them right there, or you can vacuum them outside because there's also attachment outside. Okay, so this is all the way in. Um, this has got to be the most impressive walk space that we have on any of our RVs. And so I applaud Brian for ordering this with a table and chairs. I think what people fail to realize is when you try to put a booth that goes way out here, you lose that you know ability to walk. So this has got so much space to walk through right here. Very impressive. Um, again, Renegade does a great job with that, but in this Superstar, you've got that going for you here too. Um, I'm not gonna put the awnings out because they won't go. Um, I know that. So one of the things that I really love about my RV is the step. So, oh, it's so windy. I'll lock this. Door locks in place, it's also nice. But I love the fact that I can get all the way out and all the way down. And this step is articulating, so it will stop if it's gonna hit a curb. Another feature that I really like about this coach, again, is I love these awnings. Look at it, this is a really blustery day. I mean, it's, it's blowing pretty good out here. And they are totally fine. Oh, there's our switchable hitch receiver. That's a weird place for it, as well as our air chuck. But you know, hey, why not? That's fine. Um, so this little bay here in the Superstar would have a switch for that air ride cab. It's automatic in the Supreme Air. And then here we've got our hydronic system. And then our hydraulic leveling jacks are also tied into this hydraulic system. So our two slides and then our hydraulic leveling jacks and our steps are being operated by, you wanna see it? By that guy. There it is underneath there. That's her hydraulic system. I don't get a cover on mine because I'm not bougie. I don't have a Supreme Air, I just have a Superstar. There's that Oasis system, 50,000 BTUs. Here's your 43 inch smart TV. Uh, you can run this off the dash. So if you wanna watch the football game and just listen to your speaker, you could. If you wanna watch a movie, you could do that too. This does pull out. So if you're sitting out here at night, you can have that, you know, both of your awnings out have the lights on, have that great outdoor patio feel. And then this is a huge bay. Another thing you'll see here is you can see this little wire here. That is because we have power door locks, right? So automatically locking and unlocking door locks either by your control here. 
So you could unlock and lock your doors here as well as your bay doors. Um, or you could lock everything by pushing and holding that one in. You also have that doorbell. Um, but again, such a nice feature so that you're not running around with a key trying to lock and unlock everything. Um, you're gonna have all your security and docking lights up here. So there's a bunch of docking lights throughout this coach. You can see them all over the place. So really good illumination outside here. Uh, here is that twin screw. See how there's no one pointing out? Remember in our class A's, it's got the Audi and then the Any. We've got two Any's here. This is gonna be your drive axle though. Until you engage this one, this will be free floating. And again, don't engage this unless you're on a slippery surface because it's gonna be really eat up your tires. Um, so here in this bay, this is the only optional tray we have in this coach. But as you can see, super nice. That way you can get stuff all the way into the back, right? So you can get your smaller stuff back here. Again, we talked about vacuuming your children. Here's your attachments right here. Let's plug them in there. And then here are your awning controls from the outside. Again, you can operate these with the control that they come with, like a little remote. But if you don't have the remote with you and you just want to push one of those buttons, you can deploy your awnings or retract them like if there's a big gust of wind coming through. Um, now, of course, this is the only coach that you'll find in the market uh, that you have this raised, uh, this raised star foundation so what the star foundation does is it takes you can see here with this tubular steel construction so it's taking the weight from these heavy slides and it's putting it down towards the corner or towards the center of the coach giving you better performance but it's also raising the coach off of that chassis rail so you can actually get pass through space above and below uh, and that's such an unusual thing in this coach so here I've already pulled this to open up this rear hatch um, this is one of my favorite features of the coach. We keep a ton of stuff in here. I make a lot of jokes about putting booze in here, but really we have like all of our extension cords. Uh, we have a bunch of like, uh, you know, the aqua hot juice. So we keep that in here. We just have a bunch of supplies back here. And then we keep a pretty large picnic table, but mine's a 40 foot. So I don't have nearly this much room. Okay, Jody, I said only one measurement inside. I didn't say outside. I was only gonna do one measurement. I just said one measurement inside. Okay, so seriously, you guys, over seven feet of depth here. That's 85 inches, and I still have another quarter inch to go. That is amazing. And then the height clearance that you have here is just under nine inches. I'd go with eight and a half would be way safe. And then the width here is going to be 33 and a half inches wide. Um, I did have somebody who said, why don't you measure things in advance? And the answer is, you know what, guys, I got to tell you, I have all these notes. I know this coach inside and out. I know all the specs, I know all the measurements, I know all the stuff, except for like these little nitpicky things. So when I walk a coach, I don't really have a plan. These aren't rehearsed, they're not edited. This isn't take seven. This is just like me talking to you about what we sell here at TransWest. And I gotta tell you, I got 10 talented coworkers here. This is absolutely one of the best organizations in the RV industry anywhere in the entire country. And we're 25 minutes from the third largest airport in the entire world, not country, world. So if you wanna fly in and have a first class experience, this is where you come because this is the place to be. Uh, so take a look at this freaking hitch, dude. This thing is so beefy. No kidding, it's adjustable. So you've got all these different sight, like heights. So if you've got a big old lifted Jeep, you can do that. You're pre-wired here. Um, I mean, this is so beastie. So for anybody who's out there driving around in a, uh, you know, an 8.9 liter ISL that feels like they're not getting up that hill the way they want to, 1,850 foot pounds of torque, buddy. That's how you do it. Um, so I really love, this is the Hayworth, Hayworth exterior. It's such a cool color because it's got all of these like nice dark pewter color grays and then kind of a silverish gold. The off-white, this is such a nice neutral color palette and it's so sophisticated looking. And look at the ass end of this coach. It is so nasty. And I love like this little downdraft here is, down, is pushed. This will catch the wind and push the air down, keeping the back of your coach all cleaned up so you've got these beautiful mirrored reflections. You've got all of your camera systems. I mean, this is such a badass coach. Anybody who has one of these, you know what happens when you pull into a gas station. Everybody wants to be your friend. So if you're antisocial and you don't like people, don't buy a Supreme Air because everyone's gonna wanna talk to you about how freaking rad your coach is. Um, again, there's the other side of that pass-through storage. Porcelain tile floors, LED lights in all of these bays whenever I open them. I mean, really not a joke. <laughs> 
Jody, I didn't close the slide the whole way. Our walking room, folks, is about two inches less than what you saw in the video on the inside. Sorry. Whoa, look at this beast. I'm going to stop that one right now. So this is crazy. 12,500 watts of power on this coach. Do you see how that door like, goes up? Do you see how it drops? How smart is that? I mean, do you see that, Jody, right there? Can you hit the corner? That's so that your uh, that you can get your slot, your door underneath the slide right here. Uh, here we keep all of our gloves, right? You might want to keep a, a gravity hose. This coach does have the SantaCon system, so you don't really need that. But if you wanted to have a backup just in case, put it right there. Look at this beautiful water bay, hot and cold water shower uh, on the exterior. Great SantaCon system. You can see our winterization fluid. We change colors every year, so that way when people come in and say their coach was winterized here, we know whether or not they're being honest. Um, I love that you have your digital display for your outside here. You also have a whole house water filter. You also have a gray and black water tank rinse starting in 2023. And then your power, your hose is on a power reel. So your fresh, so your, your fresh water hose is on a power reel. You don't have to worry about looping it up and trying to store it. And again, if you wanted to run a gravity hose here, you could or you could run your, your SantaCon system, but just a really great, easy to use water bay. Again, that door just drops down. You've got a 50 foot power cord here. Um, I do like these further in the back of the coach. Of course, Numar is very specific in how things are weighted in this coach. So they put the power cord here with your surge protector and your Xantrex inverter because of the fact that from an engineering standpoint, they want to have as much balance on this coach going down the road as possible so that you have the best driving experience. Again, oh, so these are, okay, so these are not lead acid. These are actually AGMs. Again, you've got eight batteries in this coach. You could have the Lithionics system. I really encourage you before you go down that road to make sure you need it. It's a bit of cost and maybe not as, it, as important to you as you think. We should talk through why and then we can get you what you need. Uh, so you've got a saddle tank with 150 gallon, I'm sorry, 100 gallons of fuel in it. This is one of those tanks. You have a six gallon def tank. Here's that Oasis juice. There's your def tank. There's your fuel tank. I like that. My fuel tank, I have these stupid little doors. Sorry, Ken. They're not stupid. They're fine, guys. They're great. But that's kind of cool. I'd rather just open that door and get it in there. Uh, look at that dog. Big old single. Oh, and I'm sorry. This is not a saddle tank. This is a single 100 gallon tank. Just so you know, the saddle tanks are going to be on the Superstar. I saw that and I was like, oh, wow, that's kind of neat. Um, and on that note, if you guys have any information that I need to know, we're always trying to learn here. Um, I feel like I've got a pretty good command of the product, but if you see something or I make a mistake, please feel free to make comments down below. Uh, here's your heated seats. Here's your air ride, right? So you've got your air ride seats here. There's your battery boost. Uh, you've got your telescopic steering wheel this year. It goes in and out as well as up and down. So like I said, this whole chassis has really uh, been improved. Um, I don't know that I would be using automatic cruise control going down the road, but if that's you, this has got it. Um, I also know that when I'm driving my Super C, I swear I am so engaged. <laughs> like I can't imagine like needing a lane tracking package. Like I'd be probably pushing that off, but not, you know, quite frequently, but it's cool. You know, for somebody who's on like a long drive, eight hours, you know, you get that tunnel vision, certainly it could save a life. So super cool that Freightliner's making these improvements. Uh, here you'll see one of the main reasons people want to get a Supreme Air. Look at the size of that DD13 housed under all of this accessibility. There's so much ability to get to all of your, all of your juices, all of your filters, all of your electronics, everything that you need access to, your belts, your hoses, everything is right here. Easy to get to, easy to reach. Um, you still have your great breakaway bumpers. Again, there's that spring leaf suspension underneath. And as I mentioned earlier, you've got that automatic, um, that automatic air pump on the Supreme Air. Now we did improve our C9 grill this year, so it's even sexier than before. Uh, but as you can see, just a beast of a machine. All of this really nice accent work the whole way through. Today we looked at stock number 5N230662. Again, 5N230662. 
Um, I hope that you've enjoyed this introduction into our first uh, on the ground 2024 funk model uh, 4509 uh, Supreme Air. My name is Katie O'Neill. I'm coming to you live from Frederick, Colorado. You can always catch me at 303-562-8659. Text me, email me. Let me know how I can get you out on the road and camping. And thank you for tuning in.